My name is Patrick Olalere and I'm from Nigeria originally and I'm living in Charleston for close to 30 years right now. And I'm, I'm a founding member of one of the Charleston Barry players. We started in 1993. When we talk about this club, we mention a lot about the history. Yes. And we kind of, you know, what was that like for you? I'm going to tell you, it's, um, it's, I'm lucky to be one of the founding players, founding members of this great club, Charleston Battery. I remember when it came to the uh, Charleston Battery tryout, um, I was still in college that time in Tennessee, and I came down here for the tryout. The coach then was Tim Atkinson. He, he, uh, he personally invited me to come out here for the tryout. So I was able to come to the tryout during my spring break while the team was forming. Then he called me up and said, hey, Patrick, um, you made the team, man. I was excited, man. He kidding me because I was also graduating that May. So after graduating, I moved straight down to Charleston to start preseason with the Charleston Barry at that time. And I'm gonna tell you at that time, we had great players on the squad. And that was the first time Charleston Barry would be having a professional soccer team in town. And I'll tell you, we packed the stadium at, um, at Stony Field. And um, it, was, it, was, it was a great, great, great first year. And first, um, and, um, and a great experience for me as a professional player in my first year. You've won here, you played on the first team, but did you have any idols when you were growing up that you looked up to? Yes, back then we had great, great players all over the world playing soccer. One of the greatest players that I looked up to back then was a player named Rashid Yakini. Um, he was a striker for the Nigeria national team. By Adepuju. Blasted it! Oh, what a goal! By Yekine! Exciting, exciting guy. So I tried to play like him. Yeah. And that was who I looked up to at that time as one of the greatest strikers in the world. You're still part of the Charleston community. Yes. Since, since retiring. Yes. And I'm not sure how long ago that was, but since retiring. <laughs> what have you been up to, you know, in the Charleston area? Well, locally I'm known as, 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 as one of the local coaches in Charleston. I went ahead and got my United States Soccer Federation Senior A license badge, license coach. And since then, I've been coaching the community. And, um, and I love it, I enjoy it, it's what, it's what I do. And, um, and I'm known for that. And, and my goal is to develop great young players in the community. To me, it's, it's an accomplishment. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you say that was one of your goals, you know, to, to help children of the future generation. Uh, I feel like a lot of people do look up to you, me including. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, man. For, for Thank you, I appreciate that. celebrating Black History Month. Yes. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what that means to you? You know, that means a lot, not just to me, you know, to, to, to the African American community in general, you know, because right now we are, we're beginning to see, to see more African Americans okay, more blacks, okay, in leadership role in, 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 in sports. We see more African-American becoming head coaches, managers, okay, and, 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 and presidents of, of, of various clubs and, and in, in, in various sports as well, not just in soccer. So to me, you know, it's, 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 it's improved incredibly. It's gotten better, you know, so we all should applaud uh, we, 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 all should, we, we all should be happy about this, you yeah. know, because um, we're bridging the gap, we're bridging the gap gradually and, 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 and we're beginning to see more blacks, more African Americans in, in leadership, sport, in sports leadership positions right now. So I think that's, that's a big deal, right? We won the championship in 1996. That was a great squad. And up to today, we've made lifelong friends with all my teammates and we still come to the games. We love the battery, we celebrate the battery, and, and look, man, that's the foundation you're talking about yeah. right there. You definitely see y'all every game supporting you, us. You know. know it, man, we are right there. Yeah, <laughs> We're yeah. right there at the August deck, man, supporting and showing you guys on, you know. Hey, that's what it's all about. Yeah.